Hello everyone, welcome to the King Sacrifice YouTube Chess channel and I'm here with another video on some traps that occur on the two knights defense. So white plays e4, black continues with e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, knight to f6. And now both of the knights of the black are developed on the c6 and on the f6 square. So this is the reason we call it two knights defense. Now white plays castles leaving the e4 pawn undefended so the knight captures and now here bishop to d5 can be played and which is also uh, best move in this position but rook to e1 is supposed to be a black bad move because now black plays d5 and now you see the pawn is attacking the bishop on c4 also defending the knight on e4 and it is also gaining a lot of center so the bishop retreats to b3 bishop to c5 attacking on the weak f2 pawn so white plays d4 knight captures on d4 and white recaptures on e5 but now white begins to attack with the move queen to f6 and you see the queen is threatening two pieces knight and the pawn on f2 so now if white plays bishop captures on d5 we can say this is the blunderous move of the game because now it's over for white after queen captures on f2 king to h1 and the most amazing sacrifice in this position that is queen to g1 and now as you notice that rook captures on g1 meets up with checkmate with the knight on f2 so that's why after queen to g1 check king captures the queen and now knight to e2 with a double check so if the king moves to h1 then knight to f2 would be a mate and if on f1 then after knight to g3 with a check h captures on g3 knight, knight captures on g3 with a checkmate so let's see another variation that instead of castles what happens if white plays d4 so now e captures on d4 knight recaptures knight captures on e4 bishop captures on f7 with a check so now the king is exposed so the queen comes over to h5 with a check now if king to g8 then it will be an instant checkmate after queen to d5. So black plays the move g6, after which queen to d5 check, king to g7, and instead of capturing, white can play knight captures on c6. So now again, black plays the move knight to f6 with an idea that whenever the knight captures the queen, he can capture white queen, and now the white knight on d8 is trapped but now white can actually win the queen of white with the moves bishop to h6 check and the king has to capture the bishop by force so king captures on h6 queen to d2 with the check and now also the queen is out of the attack of the knight king to g7 and white gains black's queen so that was another variation so another variation is instead of knight captures on d4 what happens white attacks knight with the move e5 so now it would be a bad move for black if you place knight to g4 now bishop captures on f7 with a check king captures on f7 and now again the king is exposed so knight jumps over to g5 with a check king to g8 Queen captures on g4, d6, attacking the queen with the c8 bishop. So now white queen moves to f3 with a double threat. And black protects them both with 
queen to e8 but now after queen to d5 check bishop to e6 black is going to lose one piece after queen captures on e6 so so these were some traps that you can apply on the two knights defense and this is also the end of the video if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button below the video and thank you for watching